Jonathan Huganin, Head of CTO and CDO for Banking. The last 20 years have seen dramatic changes in banking. Digital, social media and mobile have left no industry or company. Okay, hello Twitch, and hello YouTube, later on, when this goes on to YouTube. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, this is going to be my first time ever streaming onto Twitch. And yeah, so basically what I'll be doing is uh, streaming on Twitch, like I said, and uh, then I'll be uploading the video later to YouTube, hopefully, if I've worked everything out which I really really hope I have uh, for those of you watching on YouTube down below you can see the link to Twitch where I plan to be doing somewhat regular streams and I will be doing streams of uh, Pokemon of Minecraft and of Fire Emblem so yeah guys I hope you enjoy and uh, tune in, enjoy tuning in and watching because I enjoy having you guys here alrighty so Last time, on October 10th, we started from Orboro City, exited from Flower Shop, Potion was obtained, uh, what else? Got through to Floraroma Meadow, departed from Valley Windworks, caught a female weasel, and met Valley Windworks Mars. Then, that was even previous to that, October, th okay, awesome. Alrighty, so guys, we have come quite a long way, and uh, this time, I think we should start off by catching ourselves a Pokemon. So uh, let's head over. Now it is Friday today, so hopefully I can uh, capture a Pokemon for myself here at Valley Windworks. So here we go. Dun, dun. And Shellos is not the Pokemon that I'm looking for because we have decided to go with Hydra as our Pokemon for the water type. What we are wanting though is a ghost type. <laughs> which I haven't had in this series before, so it's going to be quite interesting. And you can catch one here on Fridays. So hopefully we will be able to encounter it without too much trouble. I am just going to try and run from as many of these battles as possible, because Hydra isn't really all that highly leveled at the moment. So we don't want any trouble for our friend Hydra here. Okay, come now. Let us see if we can... Oh, that's another Buizel. If we can't get it right now, I'm not too fussed. I can always come back at another stage and come get it. But it would be nice to start off with a good capture of our friend. Our new friend. Actually, there's one right by the sign there. Hang on a second. Is that like... Oh! Well, this is new to me. It's not a... Um... Huh. It's... You actually, like, physically run into it. It's not a wild encounter. Flume. There we go. Okay. Awesome. It's like an on-the-map encounter. Triflu. This is going to be our new buddy. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool. So, let us use Water Gun on this guy. He's going to use Astonish on us, which does quite a bit of damage, considering. But I guess it's because of our level difference at the moment. Uh, so, what we might want to do is just change our Pokemon here. Switch out to Aerie. Come on out, Aerie. Right, it's going to use Gust on us, which shouldn't do much at all to our buddy Ari here. And uh, we can hit it with a good, strong quick attack, I think. Not too strong, though. Okay, uh, yeah, it's a ghost type, of course. Whoa, brain, slow, you know, speed up. Speed up, please. Wing attack, not too hard, though. Don't knock this thing out. Thank you. Now we can start catching it. And what was that? Did someone follow? I heard a ching. If somebody did, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, it, it's not coming up exactly what happened there. Oh, there we go. Commander Root is now following. Hello, Commander Root, and welcome. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So let's um, go into our bag and get Pokeballs. Like I said, guys, very new to Twitch. First time ever streaming. So, alrighty. Let's catch this guy. And we got it! Drifloon was caught! Nice! One Pokeball, one capture. Let's have to see what Dex has to say about it. 
Because of the way it floats aimlessly, an old folktale calls it a signpost for wandering spirits. Alrighty, so we always give a nickname to our Pokemon here. So, let's see, what can we call this guy? Let's call him Party. He is a balloon after all. Here we go. And a Y. There we go. Hello Party and welcome to the team. <laughs> nice, cool, so we actually caught the Drifloom. That's going to be super interesting because I've never used one of those before. Alright, so let us order our Pokemon now. So Hydra is lowest level, so that's good. Sparks can come up next, followed by Party, then Turt, then Ari. Okay, so that's all good. Let's go into the Pokemon Center and get some rest for our weary Pokemon. And once again, listen to the beautiful, soft, gentle tones of this Pokemon Center. Just the Pokemon Center and music in this generation of games is just so lulling and so soothing. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. Alrighty. So let's head on back out now. Now I'm not entirely sure where to go. I guess we just keep on going up from Valley Windworks. So we're on route 205 now. So if we head on... Let's read the sign first, shall we? It's there for a reason. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so what's up from here? If you slide the sweet honey on the sweet smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted by that sweet scent. Indeed. Whoa, trainer battle. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go into a turn of forest? Okay, so apparently a forest is up next. And here we go, battling Camper Jake with his ponytail. Hmm, now does Hydra know? Let's see, is this a good idea? Let's try it out. Okay, Hydra, what again? I'm a bit nervous about this considering how little damage that actually did there. Um, yeah, let's switch out into Sparks. I'm actually a bit nervous about that because I know Ponyta can be quite good at stomping and stuff like that. Not, not at what level I know, but uh, well, looks like it only has Tackle, so we might have been good staying in there. But rather safe than sorry. Although Sparks is not doing too good a showing over here right now. Golly, Sparks. What, Twitch got you nervous? There we go. Managed to take out that Ponyta on one hit, though. And Hydra goes to level 11. Nice. And Sparks gets to level 16. Good job, both of you. That really dampened my spirits. Okay. Heading on out and upwards. Whoops, okay, we've run into a hiker. There's no belt in here, but I'm going, I'm dressed to hike. Well, <laughs> here goes. Alright, Mr. Hiker, let's see what you got in here, buddy. He's got a Geodude. Alright, level 10, so Hydra should be able to take this thing, no problem. And of course I use Water Sports. Why did I use, uh, I need to swap those moves around. That was stupid of me. <laughs> Do you... how do you swap moves in this generation? Not like that, evidently. I guess we'll have to go into the menu and do it later. But for now, we will just use the Vortagun and super effectively defeat the Geodude. Fortunately, it didn't have Sturdy, because that can be quite irritating. Let's got another Geodude. Keep Hydra in. This will be some good training for you, girl. Alright, get our Boizels level up. Nice. Two hits, two kills. Two knockouts, rather. You don't kill in Pokemon. Hydra grows to level 12. Awesome source. And yet another Geodude. This is getting better and better. Level 12, so it matches Hydra's level, so she still should be able to get that one hit KO. And she does. Great work, Hydra. Good show. Oh yeah, a refreshing battle like was. Okay. Let us get to ourselves our X special defense there. Awesome. Now, which way to go? High road or low road? Hmm, let's try low road for now. I love Pokemon that smells sweet. 
Like this one. Get a whiff of this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is an aroma lady. She is not going to be good for Hydra. Yep. Okay, we are getting Hydra out of it. With your cute snout, Hydra, we need to get you out. Okay, um... Let's give Party a go. We haven't tried... I know Ari would be best, but Ari is highest level at the moment, so... Let's try Party. Hello, Party, and welcome to the team. Let's see how we will you resist a Mega Drain. Ah, pretty well indeed. Okay. Um, we've got... Why did I use Focus Energy? I meant to use Gust. Gosh, my hands are not controlling well tonight. Hi, Stella. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. Alrighty. Gust attack. There we go. Did some decent damage on that Roselia. Alrighty. Yet another gust. Go. You can do it, party. Let's get this party started. Alright. And ended. <laughs> Straight away. Okay. Hydra grew to level 13. Nice. Off we go. Did you understand what I meant? Didn't my Pokemon smell nice? Sorry, but I was too busy blowing the scent away with my gust. Now, is there an item here somewhere? It seems pretty strange that there'd be this random little bit of elevated land and... There we go. Knew it. <laughs> there is an item. Okay. What do you have to say for yourself, guy? It's a long way between Flora, Roma, and Atana City, so let's battle. Okay. Let's do this thing. <laughs> we got that awesome Apom over there balancing on its tail. It's always amused me how Apom's tail is literally a hand. We gotta hand it to Apom. Okay, it's going for a sand attack against Hydra, lowering the accuracy, which of course means in this game an automatic miss. Um Hmm, who shall we bring out? Let's bring our party again. He did pretty well. And this is a normal type. Do we have any... Yeah, we've got Gust, so we should be able to use that against him. His normal type moves won't affect us, so that's great. Alright, let's use Gust. So at the moment, party is blowing away the competition, which is great to see. Okay, Apom's busy lowering our defenses here, which means it could be going in for an attacking move, but the thing is, if it... Only has normal attacks that won't really do anything for it. Ah, it? Oh, it has a ghost type move, which will be super effective. Oh my gosh. This just got bad. <laughs> Come on, party. You can do this. So close. No. No, party. The party is over. Okay. Um. Come on out, turret. They knocked out our new compatriot. You must. Absorb the essence and defeat them. There we go. And the one-handed monkey falls. Because if you have a look at the end of its arms, it doesn't really have hands. It just has like little nubs. So the only hand is at the end of its tail. So it actually has like one tail coming out of its back and then one hand with a windy arm coming out of its, its back and then two tails coming out of its side. If that makes any sense whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, enough discussing the anatomy of ambibombs. Um, let's go back onto the low road here. And get this Pokeball. Which is a heal ball. Pretty cool. Can also get some berries over here. Iron berry. And what is this one? A Petra berry. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so let's uh, talk to this camper girl. What kind of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? Alrighty, what kind of Pokemon do you have, I wonder? Bidoof! Okay. How wonderfully delightful. Okay, Hydra. What can we do to defeat this Bidoof? Let's go for a quick attack, an offensive with this quick attack. Alrighty, that's not terrible, but not great, especially since our attack is being lowered even still. Uh, let's go for a water gun, Hydra. Come on, girl. There we go. Alright, and yet another water gun. And that uh, beaver has now been waterlogged. Quite good. Mm, 
quick attack should be able to take it out. Let's go, Hydra. There we go. Goodbye, Bidoof. And good job, Hydra. About to send in Pachirisu. We are switching out of there. Oh my gosh. You cannot deal with an electric type, my, my, my girl. Alrighty. Patrice, let us go for the razor leaf tart. You can do this. There we go. Nice. And let's follow it up with yet another razor leaf. Why not? Okay. Patrice's quick attack turrets razor leaf. The two of you shall eat it at once. <laughs> okay. Well done. Critical hit turret. Awesome. I'm shocked. How did I lose? How indeed. Okay, we need to go and get our buddies healed up here at the Pokemon Center quickly. Because uh, one of them has fainted, which is a not ideal. So, hop, skip, and jump over these uh, ledges here. Still did not have a bike yet, unfortunately. I wonder when we get that in this generation. If we get that in this generation. Hope we do. Because it would kind of suck if we didn't. Alrighty. Well, let's heal on up. Because we don't want our buddy to uh, lose out on the experience there. That is for sure. Thank you for waiting. Okay, so let's head on out. Okay, so where do we go from here, I wonder? If we carry on straight, we can... Hmm. Okay. Let's just carry on straight for now. And let's see what the sign has to say for itself. Trainer tips. Those items placed in your bag automatically. That reminds me, we got some iron berries, didn't we? Um, bag. So, what we want is the iron berry. We want to give those. Let's give one to Hydra. And let us not use. Um, give one to Party. Might as well. That should provide some uh, good, wholesome health for them, should they need it. I've lost my way. Here of all places. Unfortunate, sir. Very unfortunate indeed. For now, you shall face the wrath of Hydra. Which I don't think your Onyx shall be able to conquer. Even though it is level hard. higher. Because it is four times weak, I believe. This Onyx is rock ground. Goodbye, Onyx. Super effective. One hit KO. Brilliant experience for Hydra. Nice! Level 14. Well done, Hydra. You've caught up to the others very quickly. Having lost his way, the trainer lost the battle too. Indeed. Unfortunately, if you lose your way in life, you lose your way in your fights. From being lost in the mountains so long, I became a hiker. Whoops, and we're running into wild Pokemon in the mountains, apparently. Yet another Shellos. I guess the Shellos are sad that we didn't pick them for the journey, but uh, yeah, Hydro is who we picked, and too many water types would be no good for our team. We get a Repel, pretty cool. And who are you, young lady? Yeah, there's no holding anything back. Okay. <laughs> she, um, Battle Girl Kelsey. She's ready to fight, all right? Uh, you do realize that this is a Pokemon battle, right? Okay, we will be going for a water gun. There we go. Jolly good, jolly good. Critical hit over there. And we want to go for yet another water gun, I believe. Yes, indeed, a doobly. We do. Awesome. Okay, so now, uh, let's go for a quick attack. There we go, that should finish this guy off for us. Curioso. Chop has fainted. Alright. I, I concede, I think you're on a different level. Well, okay. Um, hi, why can't I move? Oh, there we go. Whew. Hiya, you put me in my place. I appreciate it. 
Who are you? Oh, I don't know. Should I play a little? Um, I mean, Pokemon Battle, then sure. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, it's a Piplup. Wow, a trainer with a starter. What a concept. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, come on, Art Tert. Starter versus starter. Let us go for Razor Leaf. And we got Quick Claw activation there. Pretty cool. Don't know if it mattered, but we do. There we go. Piplup is down. Good job, Tert. And this will get you to level 17. Good work, Tert. And no. Thank you. Keep all moves. Yep. Oh, boo, how insulting. Oh, Tert doesn't evolve at level... Whoa, Tert's got a higher evolution level. That is for sure, compared to other starters. What's in this house? Good day, sir. Repels are useful, don't you think? When you use a repel, weak Pokemon won't come out. But that also means there won't be any Pokemon to capture. You seem to be tired. Rest a while. Sure, why not? Might as well get some PP back for our moves there. And let us watch the TV. Pokemon Battle Watch! Good evening, everyone keeping up the good battle? It's time for Pokemon Battle Watch, where we do an in-depth analysis of hot-blooded battling trainers. Let's get on with the show, Battle Watch! We bring you this breaking news story. While traveling in the vicinity of Route 205, Silent discovered a hidden Stardust. The methodology employed by Silent is unknown. Eyewitnesses report Silent appeared to be very fervative. Silent reportedly scanned the area often, as if fearing detection. This concludes the special news st Whoa! 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 I've got a stalker, apparently! That's creepy! Okay, let's, let's collect this. We got a super potion, and we got a creepy stalker. Wow. Okay. <laughs> let's just keep going, then. 205, Return of Forest. Many poison type Pokemon make the Return of Forest their home. But I've been mining antidotes. What should I do? Do I press on, or do I go back? Um... I don't know, mate. Looks like, oh. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, it looks like we can just skip the turn of forest entirely by going across the side, but apparently not. And also, this is interesting. I wonder how you get, get around there. Alrighty, let's head on in then, shall we? Dude. The music in this game. That is beautiful. And it's... Okay. It's getting a little step to it now. Hello, my name is Cheryl. And you are? Oh, so your name is Silent. I'm sincerely glad to meet you. Silent, may I ask a big favor of you? I want to go through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think they're safety numbers. Please, may I go through with you? Alrighty, we decided to go through with Cheryl, which is pretty cool. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Alrighty, the Eterna Forest. I'm searching for bug Pokemon so I can win at the Eterna Gym. Bug Pokemon are great, you know, they grow up really fast. And I've glitch out if I walk into the grass, apparently. Alrighty. That, that's new. And there's a tree that looks like it can be cut down there. So, apparently walking through the grass in this uh, particular area glitches out. That's a thing of having to play through an emulator to get to, to stream, unfortunately. Alrighty, we've got a Baneary and a Ghastly. How ghastly. Okay, um... Oh, she's got a Chansey. Pretty cool. Chancy. Not too sure how you say it, Chancy or Chancy. Guess either way is fine. Depending on where you're from. Looks like all the wild battles in here will be double battles. That's pretty cool. I'm always a fan of double battles. But I'm not a fan of wild battles. <laughs> so unless you're doing grinding, then it's essential. But right now we are just making our way peacefully through. Alrighty, double battle time. What's cool, you might ask? No, I'll tell you anyway. Bug Pokemon! just start on a power walk. 
Okay, so you two are together apparently. Bugcatcher Jack and Las Brianna. Okay, got a Wurmple and a Battery Suit. We've got our Hydra and Chansey here. So, I obviously don't think I can control her Pokemon. So, let's switch out, because I don't want to get into trouble here. Um, blah, 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 blah. what would be best? Party, probably. You can bring in the party and do a good gust attack on that Wurmple there and get that taken care of for us. Alright, that thing is of course going to go for Spark. Ha! Huh, but it didn't use it against Party. I thought it would have because, um, because of our Weasel was out there. Does String Shot hit us both? Hits Party? Ah, oh, hits us both. That's interesting. Alright, so let's use Gust on that Wurmple. Patrice is going to spark it up against Chansey again. So Chansey is being quite a tank for us at the moment. And unfortunately is getting paralyzed and unable to move. But we should be able to get rid of this Wurmple pretty goodly. Yep, indeed. Super effective and it's down. Nice. Chansey is using soft boil to heal itself up. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, and they're going for Sulkoon, which we shall dispatch forthwith in a good manner. So this Petrus is using Charm. Our attack is harshly falling, but we will be able to use Gust to get that down a bit. So that's cool. Kill, 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 kill. Alright, now what to do, what to do. What will come out next, I wonder? Let us use... So it basically went through the entire evolutionary line there, which is pretty interesting. And that thing's still char targeting Chansey, so that's giving us ample, ample time in order to take this thing down, which is a brilliant for us. That Poison Sting, though. Going for the Gust on the Beautifly, which is a beautiful Pokemon. Okay, Chansey's paralyzed, unfortunately. Let's just keep going for the Gust. Hopefully take this thing out. Oh no! They finally attack Party. And wow, what an attack that was. Super oh, Party's part flying type, hey. But fortunately we got our iron berry there to restore a little bit of health. And thing's gonna go for tackle. Now we've got a double paralyzed team, which I don't think is a good idea. Not at all. Okay, so what can we do about this? Would it be wise to swap Pokemon at this point? I believe so. Okay, so let us head on out into Sparks. Here we go, come on out, Sparks. At least Sparks can't get paralyzed, I believe. And yeah, that thing's going to use Spark against Sparks, which won't get it too far. Oh, Spark, Ele yeah, okay, electric types apparently can get paralyzed. Oh, gosh. Is it fire types that can't get burned there, or is it poison types that can't be poisoned? I know it's one of those things that is true. Which one, though, is... Ugh. Okay, uh, let's use Spark on the Beautifly. Okay. Come on, come on. Spark, oh no, Sparks, come now. Yeah, Chansey with the attacking, finally. Nice! Well done, Sparks. Good work, Chansey. Party grew to level 16. Chansey's using Soft World. Healing up some of the damage. Now we need to try and take out this Pachirisu. Don't know how many Pokemon are going to be behind that one. Got a critical on us. Okay. Keep up with the Egg Bomb. Good, Chansey. Another tackle from Sparks here, and another Egg Bomb, and that should be that Pachirisu down. Now, Pachirisu is a World Championship Pokemon, guys. Remember that one. This thing was seen in the Pokemon World Championships, so yeah. It's one to watch out for. There we go! Pretty cool. 
Don't ignore bug Pokemon. It really bugs me. Oh, you. It would seem that coolness alone doesn't add up to any wins. You can't avoid bug Pokemon ever in the forest. I didn't have antidotes with me either. It was worse. Um. Um. Our Pokemon down here. They, they're fully healed. Oh, that's cool. D did you do that? It's startling to see two wild Pokemon appearing at the same time. Okay. Apparently we get healed up automatically in this place. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what we want to do is head on down this way. I see it, I see it, I see you going down in defeat! When a trainer in Pokemon Bond is one, a wondrous power is born. Alrighty, we got two charlatans over here, so let us take them out! Abra and Abra. Alrighty. Pair of Abras. Let us use Water Gun. And they're using Hidden Power. Let us hope it is not Hidden Power uh, fighting. Apparently it is. What's your Hidden Power? Is it also fighting? Apparently it is. Okay. I know fighting's not the only thing that's uh, super effective, but yeah. Okay, let's go for Dark against the Abra. Unless it is. Gosh, uh, it's been such a long time since I was seriously into Pokemon. Oh, no, 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 sir. That was not nice attacking Hydra like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That did way too much damage to Hydra for my liking. And he's pursuit on that guy. Goodbye. Now, do I risk it for the biscuits? Considering Hydra just did gain a level there, and is now level 15, and it wants to learn the move Swift, which is an awesome move, which never misses. Um, definitely getting a reward of sport for that. Not even a moment's hesitation there. Chance he's using the Egg Bomb. Good job. Um, let's go for Pursuit. Let's see what this can do, if we can survive this Hidden Power, hopefully. Okay, it didn't attack us, it attacked Chauncey. Waste of a turn for it. Because now it is going to die. Goodbye, Abra. There we go. Alright. It is I that has gone down in defeat. Um, um. Yep, charlatans. Goodbye. Um. Okay, I think what we are going to do is we are going to use a repel before I step any further into this grass. Uh, where is our repels? Not in this pocket, apparently. Oh, there we go. Repel has been used. We get a netball. Not too bad a catch there. Alright, and we got another double trainer here. But if we head up this way, apparently we don't run into them. We've got other double trainers. So we got a whole bunch of double trainers here, which is pretty cool for experience, considering we get healed up. So it's definitely worthwhile to stay here a while and do some training. Here comes the swarm! Another bug type, apparently. My senses tingle, I spotted a rare Pokemon. Alright, so let's see what we can do versus these two bug catchers. Philip and Donald. We got a Burmy. And a Wurmple. Okay, let's go for a Swift. Should hit them both, actually. Oh, cool. Swift has a nice little sound effect to it in this uh, version, in this generation. Oh, wow. That did a lot more damage to one of them than it did to the other. There we go, and we, uh, Chauncey made up the difference there. So that's super cool, and these tackles are doing nothing against us, so we can go for yet another Swift from Hydra here. It should do a good job against these two. There we go, that one pulls down, and next out, I'm guessing, will be a Coscoon or Silcoon or something like that. Come, where's uh, Gen 4 bug rep representation here, guys? Um, hmm. Just keep doing the Swift, why not? It's working. So that will knock out the Burmy and it will do some serious damage to the Coscoon, hopefully. Nice. Hydra level 16. Chances using that Egg Bomb to good effect. Cool, critical hit. Goodbye, Coscoon. Okay, next comes out Dust Tox and who? 
just tossed it and another Kirby. Let's keep going with the Swift. It's been working so far. That did nothing against that dust ox. Okay, I think it's time to change out. Fortunately, dust ox misses. Okay. Um, hmm. Let us switch out to the party. Yeah, let's bring out party. It's party time! Yay! Okay. Burmese using protect, because why not? Dust Ox attack keeps missing. Wow, it's got very low accuracy for some reason. Let's get rid of this Dust Ox, actually. Hopefully Gust will do it. Close, but no scar. To try again next turn. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's got confusion. Oh, that did literally nothing. Okay, Boom is using Protect again. That won't protect your partner, sadly, for you. Goodbye, Dust Ox. Ready? Party is now level 17. Um, uh, 50 damage compared to no damage. Yeah, let's do that. Alrighty. Let's go for another gust against this thing. Here we go, party. And goodbye, Burmy. Nice. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> cool. Impulse effect, unfortunately, wore off there. Um, I don't think we have another one. No! Banyarian Bidoof! We shall run from you, and you shall never find us. Run away! There we go. We get a potion. Not bad, not great. What's this say? Trainer tips. In forests and caves, there are many items on the ground. Yep, yep. Okay, let's battle these two. Another two charlatans, by the looks of it. Let us take them down a peg, shall we? Okay, what Pokemon do I have for us to eat? Minotite and Psyduck. Alright. I shall swiftly take care of them both. There we go. Does next to nothing. Okay, good to know, good to know. in there. Critical, but does hardly any damage. Okay, um, let's go for Pursuit against this Minotite. Critical hit. Too bad damage. Well, that's part fighting, isn't it? So that will negate the dark damage there. And uh, I think we're going to try a Water Gun against it to try and finish it off, hopefully. See how much damage that does. Eh, not too bad. We'll go for a swift next turn, get a bit of damage on them both if Hydra lives this confusion, which it does. And a scratch. Just to live through both. Chance is busy healing itself up, even though it doesn't really need to at this point. Okay, let's go for that swift and get some damage on both of them. And hopefully fell the uh, Meditite. Which indeed we do. Goodbye, Meditite. And almost goodbye, Cyber. Well done, Hydra. Level 17, well earned indeed. Okay, it's going for a confusion. Hydra resists. Egg bomb. Psyduck does not resist. Goodbye. Nice. And Meho, you lost. Why didn't you foresee your loss? Okay, um. Let's come out this way. Um, go to Pokemon, and we want to switch around a bit, put Ari in the front. This pops up next. A bit of pathway here, strangely, out in the middle of nowhere. 
We get a green shard. Okay. What? What's a green shard? A small green shard. It appears to be from some sort of implement made along. Uh, okay. And there's trees that look like they can be cut down. There is an old chateau ahead. No one lives there now. They say it's haunted. Oh. Okay. Um. Do you have anything else to say? My Pokemon is an excellent healer, but attacking isn't its strong point. Oh, so it is you who's been healing us. And uh, no. Oh, there's the exit. I'm so relieved we finally got here. I would have never been able to get through this by myself. Thank you so much, Silent. This is my token of appreciation. Please accept it. We get the Soothe Bell. That's a pretty cool item. Especially if you're trying to get a Pokemon that uh, evolves with happiness to evolve, it can come in very useful. Very uh, useful indeed. Hope we meet again somewhere, sometime, someplace. Okay, um, what does this say? Turn a forest that way. And there's a big patch of grass here that I'm not even going to attempt at the moment without a... Uh, where does this lead? Okay, that leads back that way. And down here, nothing. And then we've got some fishermen along here. Which we don't have to battle at all, apparently. To turn a city, okay. And looks like this is the other side of that big patch of grass. Yeah, I would hazard so. And what is this? Cherry berry? That's pretty cool. Alright. And another... That's a petcher berry, apparently, not a cherry berry. The screen's very small for me at the moment, so... <laughs> forgive, it if, forgive me if I get things a little bit wrong now and then. Okay, and another orange berry. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we want to give those to our Pokemon. Let's see who are our two lowest Pokemon at the time. They get the berries. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Give to Ari. And give to Sparks. There we go. And then we can fight these fishermen, I believe. Although, is it worth it? Because often they just have magic up, and that is a big waste of time. Well, let's try it. Just sit back and fish casually. It's a grown-up's hobby. Oh, you're not even a trainer. You are, however. How about that? I've netted me a feisty trainer. Alrighty, fisherman. What have you got for me? Fisherman Joseph. Got out a goldie. Go, Ari. Alright. Ari's intimidate has cut its attack. Let's go for a bit of a wing attack against this guy. Okay. Decent damage. Decent damage. One attack won't do too much damage against me. We're gonna go for a pluck. Maybe it has a berry. We don't know. That's still good damage. And a quick attack if we have it should finish this thing off. Okay, so let us go for the quick attack. There we go. Goodbye, Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen, Goldeen. Good experience for Ari there. Enough to get him and level up to 17. Cool. I let a big wind slip away. You did indeed, bud. Okay, let us swish out for sparks, which is actually pretty cool since we're coming against water trainers right now. Nothing's biting. I could use a break, I suppose. Alright, Fisherman Andrew. With all of his magic harp. I knew it. One of them had to have a ton of magic harp. And why besmirch that name? Andrew is not the name of a Magikarp trainer. How dare you? Alrighty, let's let's get rid of this. This is this is an affront to my sensibilities. Yes, another Magikarp, of course. This is a guy with like a hundred Magikarp. Each one of them weaker than the last. He's just gonna splash at us. Do absolutely no damage. Goodbye, Magikarp. Super effective. Slowly, Sparks will gain level 17. Level 10 Magikarp. Am I even wasting my Sparks on this thing? Or I have to use it to get a one KO. Unfortunately. Let's just tackle this one to death for now. And of course, Sparks will miss. And we'll have to watch yet another splash. This goes poing, poing, poing. Why do they do this? 
I knew this was gonna happen too. I did this to myself and to us. I'm sorry, viewers. <sighs> if you're watching on YouTube, you can just speed ahead. If you're watching on Twitch, please bear with me. Okay, uh, let's go for another spark against this thing. There we go. A good, decent amount of damage there. Level 17. Nice. Good job, Sparks. Okay, so let's go another two magic up here, I would imagine. Yep, yet another magic up. One of the few people with a team of six, and he decides to fill it up with magic up. Tsk tsk tsk. Now, if he filled it up with Gyaradoses, maybe he's working towards that. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he wants a full team of magic of Gyarados. Still would be incredibly weak to electricity, but yeah. <laughs> Much more. Oh gosh. Much more intimidating than Magikarp, that is for sure. There we go. Well, that didn't do anything for me. Not in the least. I fished up some tough Pokemon. Let's have ourselves a Better not be more Magikarp. If this is another six Magikarp, my goodness. It's three Pokemon. It, it's, it's one Magikarp. Okay. Please tell me. The rest of your team are not Magikarp. Come on, you can do this, Sparks. Get rid of this Magikarp. You've got good practice on that. Gosh, whatever uh, IV Magikarp trains, Sparks is going to be very good in it. Yet another Goldeen. Let's keep going. And do another Spark Attack. There we go. Goodbye, Goldeen. At least he doesn't only have Magikarp, he has Goldeen as well. Cool, cool, cool. Nope. He has two Magikarp and one Goldeen. Not, not much better, but oh well. At least one of them isn't a Magikarp. Goodbye, you floundering fish. There we go. And I think Spox is almost level 18, yes? Yes, almost. Losing to a kid has me gasping like Magikarp. Well, if you only use Magikarp against me, what do you expect to happen, buddy? Bucko. So this is a turn of city. It feels great riding a bike with the wind. Wait, bike? 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 Give me a bike. One bike, now. Bike. Do you give a bike? You don't give a bike. Uh, what? No, no bike! No, the manager has gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. I wonder what's holding him up. Give me bike! There's bike somewhere. I want a bike. Team Galactic building. Team, Team Galactic building. Where? Where is it? It could be any one of these buildings. There's a gym, and there's a person standing outside the gym. And then there's, there's people to talk to. There's a sign here that, that, that says something or other. Let's let's read the sign. A Turner could condominiums name rating services. I don't, I don't name rating services. I want a bike. Where, where, where's? Are you the team Pla underground man's house? No. I, I, I want a team plasma building. Great. Thud. Hey, Silent. It's Romy. Great to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. You came to see the Pokemon statue, right? I'll take you there. Okay. What the? So, this is Eterna's Pokemon statue. Shaping our world, our time and space in an intertwining spiral. Revered in Sinnoh, the Pokémon of time and space. Sinnoh's myth, its truth needs investigation. Pardon me, step aside. A polite guy, what do you know? Usually people just push you aside. Oh hey! When we smacked together, a brilliant flash of inspiration came to me. An easy way to become a great trainer, yeah, that. Alright, listen close. Make certain all your attacks hit. Avoid enemy attacks for sure. You do that and you'll never lose. Anyway, go check out the Pokemon statue. See you around. Well guys, under the statue of this Pokemon, this legendary Pokemon, 
we will be ending this episode without a bike. And hopefully next time we will be able to find a bike. I know it's quite short for a stream, but this is my first one. I don't want it to go for too long, just in case there are any issues that I don't know about. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed tonight's stream. Tune in next time for another exciting episode of Something Over There. <laughs> Not too sure what I'm going to be streaming next, but yeah, definitely if you're watching this on YouTube, tune in next time for another exciting episode of Pokemon. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, my name is Good night and God bless. Bye for now.